I'm going to show you step by step in these following videos how to get files ready to turn into me. So first thing we'll cover is turning in Illustrator files. Now what I suggest you do first is make a folder on the desktop. I'll get to the desktop just by clicking on a little chunk of it down at the bottom and then hitting Command Option H. And if you just make a file here called something to the effect of turn into Steve. So right click, new folder, turn into Steve. That way you got everything in one spot here. All you have to do is drag that to your flash drive and then when you're up at the computer and people are waiting behind you, you're very organized, ready to turn things in. Files will always be named like this for me. So if you were turning in an Illustrator file and your name was Jane Doe, it would be Doe underscore Jane underscore some type of description. So if it was a restaurant logo, some short description like that, and then followed by the extension, which in the case of Illustrator would be .ai. Do not turn in folders to me just the files. The whole reason you would name it last name is so that everything will line up alphabetized for me. If there's an exception to that, if I if we do need folders, then I'll make that very clear uh, in the instructions that I put in Blackboard, for example. So now let's get onto the specifics of turning in an Illustrator file. Now I made a little demo file here. It's not pretty or anything, but it gets the idea across and covers you know all the different um, things that you'll run into like type image and so on so what I suggest you do first here is do one final save for yourself so wherever you've been saving just come in do a file save if possible if it's grayed out it means you've already done it so I'm good on that step next do a file save as and now give it the name that I want for you to turn it in. So I'll, I'll do it with my last name and first name as if I was turning in this project. And we'll save it into that folder that we just created called Turn It Into Steve. So back in Illustrator, File, Save As. I'm going to navigate to that folder I just made by going to the desktop, looking for the folder. If I am in this view mode here, change it to date modified should come up to the top so select that as where we're turning it or saving it and then name it so last name underscore which you get by holding down the shift key and then the hyphen key and say this was a promotional poster And then .ai, of course, make sure that folder is what's selected. Make sure the, the format is just regular Illustrator. And click on Save. Okay, and then the next step is to unlock all layers and sublayers. And you do that first by making sure no layers are selected. If you've got a lot of layers, Probably the easiest way rather than doing it manually by clicking on each lock is just to go to the drop down menu here and select unlock all layers. Now if you have a sub layer locked either by going into sub layers and locking one individual item or the other way that that can happen is you have something that's kind of getting in your way and you go to object and lock selection or command two, rather than hunting for that in the sub layers, which I hardly ever even fly the sub layers open, I just simply go up to object and unlock all. If that's grayed out, it means you don't have any sub layers or sub items locked, um, but in my case it is visible and whatever I had locked will now show up as being able to um, select it. So by unlocking all the layers, unlocking all the sub layers, that means that anything that I try to get at now should be within my reach. And now keeping in mind that you've already made a, 
a, a copy of this item for yourself and then after that renamed it saved it in that layer or that folder uh, called turn into Steve or whatever you called it now we can go ahead and get rid of any extra items on this so we'll clean it up so let's assume in this example that this is the work that I want uh, that I'm going to actually turn in. So anything that I have that's sitting on the outskirts here of the work, I'll just simply select and delete. Any art, well, let's just go ahead and get rid of everything we don't need. But we want to be careful, make sure that we don't accidentally do something like this. Like we think we're drawing a marquee around here, but we accidentally draw it a little big. And when we hit delete, we actually delete some stuff from our item. So in other words, just keep an eye on your final piece, but go ahead and start getting rid of things that you don't need here. And we'll even go one step further, get rid of the artboards that we don't need. So I'm switching over to the artboard tool, and then I'm going to select these extra artboards. And so now all I have is what I'm turning in. And if it goes over, which is a smart idea for printing and such, leave it like that that's perfectly fine this is just the idea of this illustrator file turning into me is that if i need to you know a check your work just to make sure you followed instructions and so on or b if i ever need to print it for say a display case i have a file here that's ready to print next we're going to duplicate the artboard and the artwork and the way we're going to do that is once again go into artboard tool and then we're going to make sure that this item right here that's called move slash copy artwork with artboard is turned on here's how it looks when it's turned off here's how it looks when it's turned on then we're going to click and drag almost like we're moving it but we also hold down the option key and you can see we get that doubled up uh, arrow head or the cursor changes to the doubled arrow and then I release the mouse release the option key and I now have a copy and we're gonna type above the new artboard outlined so I'm just gonna grab the text tool make sure that it's set plenty big and then just type outlined. And then what I want to do is get a careful selection, being careful not to select anything on the original artboard, and then create outlines of the type. And the whole reason for this is that in case I don't have the typeface that you have, I'll still be able to look at your work and see the way it was intended to look. So in other words, if I open this up on a computer that doesn't have Futura as a typeface, it might substitute it with something else, but over here I'll see it exactly as it was intended. So the way I do this, in this case there's only one bit of type here so I could just select it, but a safer way in case there's a lot of type is just draw a marquee around it, Make sure you get all of that. Make sure you get none of this. And then simply go to Type, Create Outlines. Now this is no longer Futura. It is just a bunch of shapes that look like Futura. Where that one is Futura. As we've talked about before, if you have images that are linked to your Illustrator document, usually they are truly just linked they're not actually part of the document it's just when you open it up in the same computer the same folder system it finds that image and shows it so since you're turning in just the file only to me not folders i need you to embed that image so the way we do that is we go to window and links So we're going uh, window, links, and then we select any images that are associated with this document. 
and I clicked on one and then I can shift click to get multiples or command click to, to manually one after another select images then I go to this little drop down menu and I say embed images they get this little icon next to it that's how you know that it's been embedded and now your document has just gone up in size in fact let's go ahead and save it well while we're thinking about it but we know that it will be here when we open it now just double check as I've already done that all of the text on the outlined out artboard is outlined and that all the images are embedded then save it and then test it the best way to save it uh, to test it is go ahead take that file and only take the file so in other words go into this folder drag just this file onto your hard drive open it up on a new computer and as long as you don't get a prompt that says missing images or something like that you should be fine so when it opens up as long as the image shows up you're fine and then as a double check you can just click on this and make sure that it is outline and the way you can tell that is it doesn't show up as a font here like this one does we click on that and it says Futura also look at the way that the bounding box is different on type it shows the baseline here it's just one simple selection Now at this point, this file is ready to be turned into me. And in the next video, I'll cover how to make a web-based image or whatever other raster image format I may be asking for.